it's time for the mic drop on each show by going deep on one topic affecting our community and hopes we can all learn a little more. Blackface has gone digital, y'all. That's a sentence I never thought I would say, but I guess it was just a matter of time. When I was coming up, AI or artificial intelligence, man-made computers and machines was something you only heard about or saw in movies or on television. And we had a favorite because for the most part they were cute and they were here to help. So AI for me was this or this. Uh, how about a little of this? There you go. And of course this. A little Optimus Prime. These were the ideas of AI that most of us grew up with. So I don't know about you, but I couldn't wait for real life AI to come along. I mean, sure, sometimes they gave us this, but I mean, you know, he was a hero in the second movie. He also gave us kindergarten cops, so I was good with it. What skinny glasses wearing kid wouldn't want to have a Cyberdyne Systems T-800 to hang out with? Well, guess what, people? AI is here, and it looks like this. Yeah, meet FN Mecca, the world's first AI virtual rapper. Now, I don't know if he's got bars. I'm going to go ahead and assume he doesn't. I haven't listened yet to his SoundCloud, but he does reportedly have millions of followers on TikTok. And earlier this month, signed a deal with Capitol Records, the music label giant who's had artists like The Beatles, Hendrix, and George Clinton in their stable. So FN's joints must be bringing something dope to the table, right? Wrong, wrong. He's bringing something to the table, all right? A straight up disrespectful caricature of a rapper built around an algorithm of ignorant stereotypes. Now we would play you some of his music, but legally speaking, we shouldn't. And like his use of the N word in his rhymes and this picture from his Instagram of him getting beaten up by a white police officer in his prison cell, it's, it's pretty tiring and whack. Remember, this is not a real person. He's the creation of artist manager Anthony Martini and video game skin designer Brandon Lee for Factory New, their record label that specializes in virtual beings like Mecca and his label mate Lil Bitcoin. Neither of them are black, by the way, and judging by the AI they've programmed, my guess is they don't know many black people familiar with hip hop culture because that certain somebody definitely would have stepped in front of this. And watching 8 Mile and CB4 a couple times does not elevate melanin levels or provide any special insights into the community, although they are fantastic movies though. Capitol Records has now cut ties with Mecca after getting called out by activist group Industry Blackout, who posted an open letter to Capitol pointing out the digital effigy is a careless abomination and disrespectful to real people with real consequences in real life. You know what? I couldn't have said it better myself. Are there real life ignorant rappers out there? Sure, but they're not to be emulated and used as a model. Would you use the worst representatives of rock and roll lifestyle to make a rocker AI, have it tearing up hotel rooms and biting heads off birds? No, I mean, I might, but I don't work at Capitol Records, so it doesn't matter. But them promoting that ignorance does. So good on them for tearing up the virtual contract. Now maybe they can go sign a human artist who has something real to say, like Boosie. 